If you want to use a template in Data Studio, create a template, switch a report from one client to use it on another client, or even select multiple data sources for a single report, you need to know how to select a data source. I'm Amy Hebden with Paid Search Magic, and in this video, I'm going to be walking you through the steps to select a data source, what can potentially go wrong in selecting a data source, and how to fix it as quickly as possible so you've got the right data to, that you're able to look at. So you can see here that in my Data Studio page I have, I've got a lot of different metrics. Now, if I wanted to change the data source here, I'm, I'm unable to do that. And the reason is because your data source doesn't exist at a page level or a report level in Data Studio. Uh, each metric or each chart is going to be controlled separately, which can be very useful when you want to have a, when you want to have a report with multiple data sources, um, but you need to be aware of that. So in order to make a change to your data source, you're going to have to select your data that you want to change. So now that I have selected, I just selected all these metrics because I'm going to change them. I'm going to click on data source and now I have the option of clicking in here and selecting my data source. Now there's a lot of sources that are already added and so I'm going to choose one of these and I'm going to select a different source and it's as easy as that, my data has changed automatically. Now let's imagine that instead of wanting to switch to a another Google ad source, I actually wanted to switch to a different data source type. So let's say I wanted to switch to analytics. Well, what I'm going to see is that all the metrics turn into little wrenches and that's because the data source, um, the metric isn't compatible. So whereas I'm pulling in conversion value with Google ads, uh, I would need to be pulling in a different metric. I need to be pulling in revenue um, in order to get that to show using uh, using Google Analytics. You can see here it's an invalid metric, but as soon as I, let's just go ahead and change this. Um, as soon as I pull in revenue, then it's gonna give me a number or not, depending on whether this is set up to show revenue. Okay, so there's no data, but that's still how I would do it. Now, let's imagine that I wanted to pull in numbers that, uh, actually I'm going to unselect that. I'm gonna just grab the data. Um, let's say I wanted to update this to a source that isn't already in here. So I'm gonna to have to create a new data source. And the way I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna go down here to the bottom and click on the little plus where it says create new data source. And once I do that, I'm gonna over here see a bunch of different connectors for Google. And let me just scroll through here. You can see there's Google connectors and partner connectors. There's a lot that I could potentially choose from. Now, this is super weird that if I wanna name the data source, it's up here. It took me a really long time to find that because that's a super weird place for a data source, but that's where I'm ultimately gonna name it. Now, if I wanna select a source that I haven't used yet, you can see here that I need to authorize it first. But if I'm gonna select something where I have already, like I only have to do that once to authorize it. And if I've already created, um, if I already authorized it, then I can just go through and select until I get to my report and then I can hit connect. Now, before I hit connect, I wanna go over and name this. So I'm just gonna name this Amy's example source because um, this is a little bit of a fake account here. Um, but this is what I'm going to uh, do in order to make sure it actually has a name. Then I'm gonna go over and hit connect. So I've got my all my data here. Uh, I don't wanna make any change at this point. I'm just gonna hit add to report. Uh, move this over so you can see it. Add to report, you can see it's called Amy's example source, which is perfect. And now I don't even know what data this is looking at, <laughs> but now I've got a bunch of information here. And um, now this number is invalid because this is showing us an analytics number. So I'm gonna have to, whatever that was, I'm gonna have to go and change. And so that's that's basically the process that you're going to, don't click on the little edit data source because that's going to give you hard times. You actually want to click in to the data source and then you can select it from something that already exists or create it if it doesn't exist. And that is how you select a data source. Uh, thumbs up if this is a useful video. If you have any questions or you want to request different kinds of videos, please leave it in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to get more videos on how to use Data Studio for better reports and dashboards. Thanks.